All right, here we are at uh, the Windows Phone booth, actually taking a look at the Sony Ericsson Xperia X2, the brand new Xperia, part of uh, Sony Ericsson's high-end Xperia lineup. It's got the uh, notable differences are actually the uh, uprated 8.1 megapixel camera. Uh, slightly refreshed design, as you'll notice, there's still a little bit of an arc there. It's still got the arc slider. So uh, when it slides up, it's actually a, been a little bit of a curve there. The keyboard is actually uh, drastically different. I think uh, much improved. Uh, keys give pretty good tactile feedback. Uh, the spacing is nice, uh, and the indentation is pretty, pretty good for for touch typing actually. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, what else this guy offers. It's actually Windows Mobile 6.5, as you'll notice. If, I'm, if I press the start button, it's actually the uh, Windows 6.5, Windows Mobile 6.5 applications launcher. Uh, just like we've seen on other 6.5 phones, we have kinetic scrolling, and the icons are offset to help you uh, more accurately hit the icons. Check that. Checking out the, the slide view. Now, the new Sony Ericsson uh, Xperia X2, it's got panels, but it also has this new slide view feature where toggled by this button right here. It's kind of like a, an alternative home screen that gives you the play now, access to your media, calendars, messages, call history. Tapping on that will give you call history there. Going back, you can take your messages. Again, with kinetic scrolling. A little bit of vibration feedback going on there too. Well, and you can also pick your panels. Just uh, part of uh, Sony Ericsson's uh, original Xperia X1 was uh, this innovative panel UI that lets you change your home screen to a home screen panel, as they call it, um, to better fit whatever whatever your needs are at the moment. From uh, you could have a home office uh, panel, you could have a play panel, you could have a, uh, a panel for your gym, all displaying different types of information. You see here certain kinds of information here, or we can change that panel. to a standard Winmo 6.5 panel, as you can see here. Gives you access to all your phone's features, data, pictures. You can actually see Simon took a picture there earlier. Or you can go and change your panel to something more fitting for, say, something more playful, and that's Sony Ericsson's custom panel right there. Like SimCity. You can move around the city and click on different things to take you to different Sony Ericsson experiences. We're not going to do that now, we don't really have time for that. But uh, So this is the uh, Xperia X2, and there's actually, if you'll notice, I'm only scrolling on the optical trackpad here. So that's pretty cool. Selecting panels again, let's go back to the standard Windows Mobile panel. And same thing here, rather, we could scroll through it on, on the touchscreen or we can scroll through it using the optical trackpad. Pretty nifty. And again, the arc slider helps, it changes uh, when you slide up the keyboard, it actually changes the orientation of the screen like you'd expect. So again, we got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, 8 megapixel camera, the micro USB port right there, volume button, the stylus right there. So that's a quick little look at the Sony Ericsson Xperia X2, hopefully coming soon to the US.